the desert's really hot. We've already established water evaporates very quickly. We gotta figure out what's the wind blowing, what's evaporation, and what's actually someone standing. A brain blast. But it's still Nim's turn. Uh, roll your health potion, die. Yeah, I'm gonna use the big one. I don't have enough of a one that won't just like barely do anything. Well, you gotta roll the die still, right? It's got some yeah, kind of. Yeah, how much is the Zanzibarian potion again? The Zanzibarian potion was a D100. Yeah, oh. you have to hope for it, and then it also might knock you on your ass. Yeah, so <laughs> I would say middle gamba. Uh, <laughs> fine, I'll just chug. All right. So the problem is, I think I accidentally typed. Uh, do we have anything other than? Uh, I know Nim had one lesser healing potion, but what were the other potions we had? And was didn't Nim we each uh, get a superior? Yeah, we okay. each got a superior, and I took the unused ones off of Prunatora. Okay, well, no, because Nim has less crap, so I probably have that one. Yeah, but I took. <laughs> I, I think you did. You take the that that in's bag too. <laughs> the was most likely to die. Oh no, because they were in the. I think they were still in the bag of holding because they were on print. I wouldn't know. I was just saying I took Celeste crap. <laughs> yeah, no, the superior, the superior healing potions. I have three of, and I'm pretty sure I got those from the two other ones. Yeah, or you could roll the Zandian Barium potion and do the gamble. It's not like it's going to hurt. You're going to regain some amount of hit points. Come on, you love rolling D one hundred. No, I don't. <laughs> I do. Yeah, all you have to do is not roll a one prior to getting a hundred. If you roll your first one hundred on this, and either and you get a one hundred, you've actually mastered health potions for the rest of the campaign. And by that, I mean you get free use of the Zanzibarian potion. Bro, I just rolled a nat 1, though. Which means... It's yeah, on very... A un oh my gosh, I just noticed that being invisible made the turn order your only show Samson, <laughs> too. I can yeah, actually right see... Wait, you can only see Samson? I can see all of you, you're just great out. I can yeah, of swap. course you can see all of us. Yeah, you you have to be able to see everyone. Uh, the turnover is just Samson 22, that's it. Yeah. Screw it, I'll do it's it. Really I funny. need the help. I know, that, I know that's how it works because I was using so many fucking crazy spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those have really become a favorite enemy of mine. Yeah, you've only had to deal with them for like three sessions in a row. <laughs> Although in a row is a bit... It's been like three months that those three sessions occurred. Yeah, and also there was like all of the interactions beforehand. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna say scruck it. I'm rolling D100. We're taking the gross black potion. Oh boy. Oh my god, I'll fight you. 73! That's a lot of health. You don't okay, even no. have that much health. <laughs> well, remember, uh, any unused hit points will then grant tempor dem temporary hit points up to 10. Shit! <laughs> no, I only get 10. <laughs> Tragic. I, it would be so funny, Nim is suddenly like stronger than Yell. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, you got your full health bar back plus 10. Yeah. Nice. That was worth the roll. And you didn't roll in that one, so you didn't incur the negative Garcia effect. That was really good. Yeah. Those potions, you should probably gather up as many as you can. They're very useful. Even if it makes you play a minigame. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine if you get a nat 100 on it, you get permanent advantage to that roll? Mm. Alright, and then we go... <laughs> So wait, how does rolling in a hundred, a D100, oh. I realize where I'm confused. But I don't, I don't know where to not be confused from. Well, straight a question, maybe I could help you out. How much healing does the potion, of, does the Zanzibarian potion have? It heals up to 100. Yeah, but how much, like... How much is in there? 
Oh, it's Are you the whole bottle, or it, it's like, just one it... charge. Okay, because... it's a shot. You do a shot, and if you don't throw it up, you get hit points. No, like I get that, but it says that you get advantage with this potion thereafter. But then the potion. Yeah, when you drink off. a different one. Yeah. Because it's the it's... same goop. It's just in one serving portions. Yeah. It's not so, like... when it's... you drink a second serving that is in a se second bottle. Yeah, it's so, just... so gross that whatever it's just flavor texted that whatever you don't roll that isn't a one hundred is what you end up spitting back up. And if you roll a one, you literally basically spat all of it up, which means you have the Garcia effect, which I'm sure everybody here is slightly familiar with. You eat a food and not. Nope. It could... Okay, so the Garcia effect is like, you eat a food and even if it's your favorite food, something goes wrong. You get sick like a day later, you get sick immediately. At some point you get sick while eating that food and your brain ends up relating it to having eaten that food. And now every time you're near that food or presented with it, you start to feel sick or nauseous. That has never happened to me. That actually that has made me sick. That actually happened to me with hot dogs. We had like cheap hot dogs when I was little, and it had a bit of like, it had like a bone fragment in it. And I ended up biting that. Or it was probably more like a bit of collagen or something. But it's, it's actually why I can't eat eggs. Oh, you got a bit of shell in your mouth? No, no, I, I loved scrambled eggs growing up, and then one time I had them and they were just bad and then I could never even stand the smell of them. Yeah. Similar thing with ketchup. I put a bunch of ketchup on gnocchi, which I hated, and then I started associating that, and then my brain was like, nope, stop eating that. Yeah, no, I've gotten sick from food, but it's never given me that once. <laughs> I didn't know it was that big of a thing, because I always thought people who were like that were just weak babies. <laughs> No, it's actually a strong psychological effect. There's actually yeah. a number of species that have it. I have mental problems. I'm too stupid to be afflicted with mental problems. <laughs> yeah, Ed, if it wasn't for the modern day, Ed, be de Ed would be dead. No, I wouldn't. Yikes. No, you would, because the Garcia effect exists so that if something makes you sick, you don't eat it anymore. It's a self-preservation effect, which means I mean I you also could just never be, get sick. You, that's not true. You told me once you ate fudge and you were nearly fucking comatose. Yeah, that's because my body can't eat fudge. Yeah, that would be considered an allergic reaction. Shutting down consciousness in response to chocolate. You're basically a dog. It's not okay. chocolate. It's just fudge. Okay, so the point is, Nim is no longer halfway to death, and the point now is, I'm turn. Ed's an idiot. <laughs> I'm but not we an love idiot. Him. I'm just stronger than you all. Ooh. All right, My... so it's Samson's turn. Yeah. He's prone. Um, he's hidden, and everything else is hiding better than him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, magic! My one enemy! <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm kinda willing to take a shot in the dark. You know where it was standing, right? You know what? You know what? I will attempt the perception check to, follow, to look at the, uh... Hmm... I mean, no matter what, I think it's you're still going to be attacking with disadvantage. Well, I have advantage because I'm hidden, but I have it's a disadvantage because I'm shooting at someone I can't see. Yeah. And those cancel out. Normal roll! But I figured, like, if I do the perception to get an idea of where I'm shooting, I'd still get the advantage? You're stretching it. Well, because that would, like, what would be the point of trying to see where he is if it doesn't help me in trying to attack? <laughs> I mean... You, you have 
the advantage because you're prone. But well, because I'm hidden. Because basically, I'm as unseeable to him as he is to me. So it just it just double out. It just like negate themselves. Like two people slapping each other in the dark. <laughs> no, I mean, no one's at a no one's at a clear cut advantage. I mean, I guess fair enough, but you're still trying to pick out an invisible target, so I'm going to say DC 17? Mm, okay. No. I can't help it. Wow. Never would have guessed it. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do instead is Prone is half moon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, to get up. Oh. Which becomes really confusing when you have 35 speed. Yeah, but I mean, like, that just means that the 12 and a half feet I can move just becomes 10 feet. Because it's not 15. I'll also <laughs> say that uh, I put a protective water around you. When did you say oh, that? Oh, you did? I said it several times. I said oh, I cast a conjuration that. spell, an inundation when I cast a conjuration or transmutation spell. And fun fact, Misty Step is conjuration. Ah, I can okay. animate the water around a friendly. So you gave the target. thing to me because everyone else technically already has disadvantage <laughs> on attacks, and you're the only one that could be seen. And it would mitigate if you decided to stay prone. It would just be a normal attack. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll. Try yeah, you might as well stand up, shot. because the water shell's giving you away, then. Oh, yeah, so then I would loot... Would the water shell give me away for someone who sees with the thermal and hammer sun? Well, there's two things. One, the water is actually moving somewhere, which is confusing as it is, but it's not like you're blind to it. It just wouldn't know you're really there. And then there's a loud bang from your gun coming out from the water. It, it, the bang is probably going to end up giving you away, and the fact that there's a displacement of the terrain is going to double it. This creature's not exactly stupid. So if I shot Kit, so can I benefit from hiding with this shot, and then it would give away my location? Okay, so I mean, you shot it last blast. time, though, right? That's true. So that oh. blast might have already clued it in. But it I... didn't go for you anyways, so Yeah, because I'm works. still fighting you. Now, literally, he's the only thing on the field that's visible. I will say, if you go and hide somewhere else, the water does not follow you. It's where you were that's protected. Well, but, okay, so the thing is, is I want it to come to me. But I still want to be able to blast it Pretty Can't you just hold your action until you can see it? That's gonna be in ten turns at the minute. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I... if it makes an attack, it loses the invisibility. Why would it make an attack against something that it, like, Because it can see you. Yeah, and it can see you just as well. I hope the answer to that is no, because one hit will kill him. You took the health potion. You're at full health. Yes. It won't kill you in one shot. It makes multiple. Yeah, that'd still be more than one shot. <laughs> I, I, I don't one see turn. a point. In one turn. One, KO. one hit KO. This is one turn, turn KO. Yeah. It doesn't one sound turn. as good. OTK. Because it's that... not. Okay. Um. If I, if I did shoot it now, and I, like, benefit with the just straight roll and have it give away my location. What do you mean? The, the straight normal die roll because you're kind of like at a battle of attrition? Yeah, it's like he can't see me, I can't see him. So it's just sort of, I guess, where he was? Maybe? Yeah, you, you take a guess and you see if the bullet ends up disappearing. A, a literal shot in the dark, like you started this campaign <laughs> off with. Woo! <laughs> if 
if you remember correctly. <laughs> she I... finally left the sun. Yeah, I half understand. I, I half know where you're going. I knew there was a shot in the jack. I just can't remember when. Oh, uh, that was actually in our first uh, real combat when we when Samson finished off the um, horde of bugs from the. Uh, oh the yeah, he took a shot in the dark of the wood and <laughs> proved that he was truly a student of Oakley by sending a bullet through a wasp. Uh, so shot in the dark straight roll. Yeah, shot in the dark straight roll. And Yal was next to it, so that would apply sneak <laughs> attack. Mm, huh? You're not flanking? No. Sneak attack works if there's another enemy like, within, five, within feet five feet of it. Even if it doesn't know the... <laughs> I guess we know where each other is at the moment, since neither oh. of us can move. You know where I am! <laughs> Hello! No, I, I mean me and the were. goal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, sneak attack is dumb. Sneak attack is dumb, but this class is... Fun. Sneak attack and various minor things I get when I level up. You say minor! That is a lie! <laughs> you... I... You can literally, like, turn this entire battlefield into difficult terrain that damages people trying to get through it. I can shoot one thing really well. We That's all you need to be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> You literally can't say that when Samson does the most damage out of the party and consistently is the most I important have a character. Thing that gives me big one target damage. Exactly. Which is why you can't target. say you can't do anything. Roll your I attack. Am doing the one thing I can do. It'd be so funny if you miss. But you won't because you have a plus eleven. All right, so... 41, 40, 20 damage. 20 damage? 20 damage. Including, obviously, the... The, 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 the resistance. Yeah. All right, and Samson's going to... Um, take his ninja mask off and fix his weird back pain. <laughs> And this time, I'm going to call the Sand Golem a bitch. <laughs> bitch! Bang, bitch! Not I'm knowing if you actually hit it or not. <laughs> exactly. And then Samson's gonna think, man, I hope my mom doesn't find out I said that. <laughs> And that's the end of his turn? Uh, I have a bonus action. Bonus your action. <laughs> action your bonus. I'm going to use my bonus action to pull out my harmonica and play it really loud. Sensibar <laughs> 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 is just sitting there putting a finger putting a finger in his right ear just to, like, tune out Samson. You're not gonna make him a performance roll? What if it's good? I mean, I'm He's not trying to be good, annoying. he's trying to be loud. Yeah, I, I'm actively do- I am embracing mm -hmm. my previous harmonica roll. Do we all have to, to make a con this. saving throw against Samson's shitty harmonica? Huh. Yeah. Alright. Constitution saving against crappy harmonics. <laughs> it... Shelly turn. Please. So whose turn does it say it is now? Still Samson. No one. Samson is the only one there. There can't be <laughs> anyone else. They're only Samson. Except that is very much so true. The turn order is very much on Yala. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's still really Samson. Uh, so, did, did we decide that the perception doesn't actually help anything? 
the perception roll to make sure I know where I'm shooting? Well, you're so close, I think it might actually help you. Okay. Because you're you point thing? blank. You can't be any pointer blank. <laughs> we... Uh, question the second. Question or wait, the is second. that... Is that a free thing? What? Rolling the perception? perception? Yeah. Okay. Uh, question the second. Um, if I light him on fire, can we see the fire? Are you going to coat him in a flammable liquid? Uh, I have searing smite, which would light him on fire. I have He's oil. Made of sand, so I don't oil. think that he you would light the sand on fire. It says the creature is ignited in flames. It doesn't have anything about what the creature's made of. <laughs> it's not specific. <laughs> it says the creature ignites in flames. Does it do like a damage over time thing? Yeah. Oh, sick. So that motherfucker's just actually on fire. Mm -hmm. It lasts for a minute if I can keep concentration. Which would help because the, that's how long the uh, invisibility thing also lasts. Is that a spell? Well, you would stop being invisible. It is, but it's a bonus action. Do a thing. Would yeah, the water he's the spell, standing he in put it out? I mean, not the stuff above the water line. Good it's four inches of water and he's like 15 feet tall. Yeah, like, his wet socks aren't going to save him <laughs> from being burned. <laughs> <laughs> Also, just letting you know, when you cast a spell, you lose invisibility. That's fine. Invisibility okay. doesn't really help, because he's not really using sight to detect us anyways. True, 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 true. Yeah, that's the whole thing, is I was going to make... <laughs> oh I was my. going to have him attack me, so that he becomes visible. In which case, whatever you guys do will be more effective. Ah, you... Also, just reminded me, that's right, he does see with heat, so you're invisible, but you're not heated. He yeah. actually can see where everyone is. He can see us the exact same amount he could before. Which is why, which is why I'm trying to get him over to me, because there's a very good chance he will not hit me. And, it's a very uh, solid chance I'll hit him if he tries. Which is why I don't <laughs> so, want him to hit anyone else. You, I, I win the tank now. <laughs> I just want to light him on fire. <laughs> you haven't seen the water move, and from your tracking knowledge, you can figure that probably means he's in the same place he was before. Which means you're pretty free to make an attack. Cool, cool, cool. So you basically negate it and roll straight. Mm -hmm. So, I guess... Did we decide on Searing Smite, or should I just roll it and see what happens? I mean, if you if, if you want to wait until he's visible, and like, if he actually attacked me, that'd be pretty poggers, because then your Searing Smite will do, will have a better chance of, a, of critting, and attacking, and hitting. I mean, I can, out of two attacks rolling normally, I should be able to hit him. Well, only strength. one would roll normal. I can also give myself advantage on one of them with Zephyr. Zephyr's still up, isn't it? Or is it down? Yeah. yeah. It's up. It's up until I use it to do the extra damage plus the, the other thing. Advantage. Yeah, but once you, oh yeah, so once you attack, you're, you're not invisible anymore. Yeah, but that's a moot point. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. care about staying invisible. Yeah, I guess being invisible doesn't matter. Yes. The only thing that doesn't help is that you and Nim can't see where I am. It's okay, I didn't shoot you. <laughs> you are shooting in my direction. <laughs> and I didn't hit. What did I say about not messing up shots? <laughs> that you frequently mess up shots, but anyway, so Hyal is being not. Cool. You frequently mess up shots because you employ... <laughs> Nim has Friendly caused fire. more damage to us than the golem. You have inflicted more friendly fire than literally anyone or anything in this campaign. So far, I can't control that. Yourself. Yeah, it's not Nim's fault, but it's also funny to blame Nim. It's entirely <laughs> Nim's fault for being. Maybe you're <laughs> <laughs> So it's only if you attack you cease to be invisible, right? 
No, you attack you would, or cast a spell. Attack or cast a spell. Yeah. Or make someone um, roll a, like, a saving throw. So, like, you'd stop being invisible if you, like, try to push someone over like a bitch. Mm. But anyway, what's Yala doing? It's Yala turn. Alright, we're gonna try Searing Smite. Alright. Straight roll Searing Smite. Wait, can you Zephyr Strike first and then Searing Smite? I, I Zephyr Strike last round. Yeah, yeah she still has you it can up. Yeah, but only concentrate on one spell. Ooh. Uh... So I guess it would either be Searing Smite or Zephyr Strike. Well, you can. Mm. Well, okay. You I can let. I can shoot once off. with my first one. Yeah. So you can Zephyr Strike the first one, Searing Smite, put up Searing Smite, and then hit down the second one. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm a rules warrior. Uh, my clan is that simply one? built different. Wee. Yeah. So, advantage with Zephyr. Advantage with Zephyr would be just a straight shot, because the target's invisible, right? Well, but I did the perception, and that's the one that canceled out. Oh. Uh -huh. Right. Alright, yeah. so that hits. Two advantages to one disadvantage. And don't forget to add the Zephyr damage. And yeah, that. Which is magical. Uh, wee magic. Yay. I have to go see which one it is. Okay. Uh, boop. That sucked. Hey, you rolled a two as well. Congrats. Shut up. So it's <laughs> Mister, I don't roll well. <laughs> so it's fifteen, right? Divided by two. Divided by two. So it just basically be... Well, no, the, it would be the, the 13 divided by 2 plus the 2. Because that's magical. It's force damage. Right. A whole 2 damage, which it's going to Woo! immediately heal. Uh, so which means that you divided negated by its 2 heal. is 6, plus six. 2 is 8. Yeah. And then, and then I cast Searing Smite, and shoot again, and pray to the Lord. So you cast Searing Smite. Is Searing Smite a bonus action? Yeah. yeah. Ah. All of those smite spells are bonus actions because they're made to be used with your action. So mm -hmm. roll the Searing Smite. Oh. Uh, you... Just like click the thing. Yeah. Whatever. Text! No, Oops, I wrong button. Text. That works. With a melee weapon. Oh, it has to be melee? Yeah. yeah that's the sucky thing about the smite, is they don't work with range weapons. <laughs> you do have a uh, right beer, so you can still Zephyr with that, right? Ooh. That's it's got a hit. Paladin. I'm making a cowboy paladin now, and none of you can stop me. So you'd have oh, wait, to hit with the rapier, something. and then you could add the searing smite, right? Uh, yes. Yep. Or, uh, quarter staff. That's melee, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hit you with a piece of wood, and you are lit on fire. <laughs> oh! She pulls out a stick. Oh, I'm I see what you're doing. <laughs> you don't have your. You don't have the great bow strung up. <laughs> <laughs> You're using it as a quarter staff, aren't you? You tricky thing. Yeah. So that that I can use without the extra strength, right? Yes. Yeah, without stick. disadvantage. I hope so. it's a stick. Okay. <laughs> it is a stick. <laughs> it doesn't even have a string. It's literally a stick. Oh, I thought like half of the I thought the string was on half of the things at all times. Uh -uh. No, the string is separate. She's got a string up both halves. Or both hips. Yeah, I know, but I figured you'd just keep the string on one half because what's the harmony? Well, I don't know. I haven't used this bow as a bow. Because if you actually. Or at all. If you looked at the end of the bow, it's not actually a hoop or a latch. It 
it's just a notch, so... Oh, it's one of those notches. Yeah, okay. bow sh it's a... Like a recurvish kind of bow. I, so the I, bow I is just exactly kind of on notch tension. So if she just kept it on one end, there's a good chance she'd okay. be like, Huh, where'd my string go? And it's just three miles back in the dirt. <laughs> But no, clever, no. clever girl <laughs> using your quarter stab bow. Stick, stick. I need to check something. Um. <laughs> also, don't forget to add Kiala back to the turn order. Well, I mean, yeah. One. Oh, right, because she's shot. Yeah. And cast a spell. I exist again! <laughs> Yay! She's always been in the turn order! For Stick! Woo! Me! Oh. Slap. And then that adds the D6. Well, yes. On. Isn't there a save right before? Um. Yeah, Searing Smite has a thing. Yeah, but so... that's, that's on its next turn. That's on the start of its turn. Okay, yeah. So on the uh, first, so it's 1d6 fire. Yeah, so take the d6 now, because they attacked it, and it'll take a d6. That 9 is turn. bludgeoning damage, or...? Yeah. yeah. It's whack damage. Uh-huh. Wiggity whack. And then 9 plus 4 is 13, so there's no resistance in straight 13, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess the bludgeoning damage is great. Hello. Yeah, it's not resistant to bludgeoning. Cool. I should hit it with the stick more. Yes, Yala, hit more children with sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Spare the rods, boy. Wait, <laughs> what do you mean more? <laughs> huh? Why do you think Yala has hit kids with sticks before? Well, I just I just consider all golems to be babies now. <laughs> I didn't hit any of them with sticks. You hit, you hit this, this one. And this yeah, because is... you said more kids with sticks. Yes, as in do the thing you just did, but more now. Um. Uh, okay. So... Yala's gonna be like, huh? Because she probably I don't know if she was explicitly told it could be used as a quarter staff. So she, she just it. yoked it and was like, "Whoop!" I think you. I think Zanzibar actually did. Yes, he did. Okay. He explained. I don't you. remember exactly what he said. He he gave you the lowdown, one hundred percent. She do a bonk. <laughs> she was like, "Huh?" And is he on fire? Yes. Is In the fire visible? <laughs> till his next turn, <laughs> it's invisifier. Mm. I mean, no. It, it, yeah. Y yeah. You just see a pillar of fire standing before you. Oh, oh I did hate. <laughs> right. And now Nothing else for Kella's turn? Uh, I think I've done everything. There's no reason to move away. I mean, if you make it try and hit you. <laughs> I mean, it's it's turn is next, so. Yeah, it's turn is next. I when I got that, I was like, I'm never gonna use it as a quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> and lo and behold, and now I'm like not strong enough to use it as a bow. And now it's my best weapon against this thing. <laughs> Everything else I have does piercing and slashing. He wants to he again hear yeah. another snap of sand. I guess I don't need the glasses to know where I'm sending this, huh? It's right there! As he just points at oh, the giant. Stop. <laughs> what happened to being a referee? Merrymaker, you know we couldn't do that. I'm an evil referee! What do you want from me? Do you want a red card? I'll give you a red card! I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't answer. 
You know what? Just for that, I'm adding in a little more sand. And you just see another, like, clump of sand merge, and he just drops it. I thought you wanted us to finish this battle. No. I want to see you do good work. I want to know that you're capable of actual tough combat. You're doing oh, good. Wait, you're doing good, kids. Keep it up. Nim's not talking. Hey. It's all the game, but also. <laughs> I just like, did <laughs> cast the spell? Where'd everybody go? <laughs> did they misty step everyone? <laughs> so anyway, so now Chella's visible. Oh, He's invisible. That means- Put on it, fire. Yes, yeah. but that means it's <laughs> attack advantage. Yes? Because he's still invisible. Yeah. No, because if something happens that make you see it, I think it's mitigated, right? Mm. So the thing about being invisible is that if you can't properly guard something, it hurts way the hell more. That is true. And the fire is not descriptive enough to really know how it is. We know its location. We don't know what exactly it's doing. It could dab and you would flinch. I hope it dabs. Can it dab? <laughs> Make it dab. Make, Make it dab. It dab. Make, Make it, it dab. dab. Make, Make it, it dab. Dab on the haters, that is us. <laughs> You'll never know if it dabbed or not, because it's invisible. Go Go for dab. 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 Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear what you said. Did <laughs> <laughs> it dab? That's even funnier. <laughs> You just, you, just, you just hear Zanzibar starting to laugh. And he's just looking over in the general direction. And then you just ask if, he, if it's stabbing. No, because I don't think Samson would know what the hell a dab is. Damn! I, I, okay, I, I want to. But my character is, exists in a world where I don't think dabbing is a thing. I'm gonna be so real with you, I feel like Nim's college jabs. I've never seen No, they do college. they do something worse. They do like a strange crab walk dab thing. It's called crabbing? Yeah, they crab. Crab on the haters? Yeah, crab on all these haters. Okay, so we've determined <laughs> that the fire does not disengage invisibility. Good. Because otherwise, conditions don't exist. Yeah, on fire is not a condition. <laughs> him, <laughs> him, him having to take fire damage is. His he has turn. to roll the save, right? Yeah. Yeah, isn't... yeah. On his oh, on his next turn. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, yeah, constitution yeah. save, right? Yeah. yeah. Get burnt. Damn. I think that fails. <laughs> Nice advantage, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to tame this thing. You're being unusually cruel. Another 1d6 fire? Well, no, we yes. wanted to respect Nim, so we're being mean. Yeah, so we're bullying it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I just don't know how anything will respect Nim after looking at her. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Oh, wait, here we go. Boop. Uh... It just says Kellen, it doesn't say anything. I know, I know, I know, okay? I'm stupid. <laughs> just, you, you, see the, you see the dice thing right there, right? Hmm? Over on the left. Yeah, the I'm stuff. doing it different. I'm doing it like this, if it works now. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Pretty cool that you both are all the same thing. Yeah. We're linked. Hey, don't psychic. take my rolls. We're linked. I psychic. could also roll a physical die because I have many. I could also roll a fit. You know what? Let's roll our d6s. <laughs> Wait. Can I roll? I don't have a d6. For my next Wait, yes, I do. I forgot what the d6 was shaped like. Yeah, wait, well, how, how would you not have a d6? It's I, did, I forgot what it was shaped like. That's it. <laughs> What did you get? Uh, six. I actually got a five! <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, that would have been so good if we rolled another pair of fives. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Well, that's up to a DM. What? Do it. Can I Can roll, roll my physical, physical D6 for my next sneak attack? No. Uh, what? I figured. Ooh. All right, what does the scary man golem do? So you see the flames move in a way that you can't really tell. Thanks, oh advantage! God. Ooh. Oh, just be happy it didn't crit. Why aren't you fighting me? <laughs> Who's it fighting? <laughs> Merrymaker, I'm starting to think calling it a bitch doesn't do anything about who it attacks. Uh, 13... Beep, 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 boop, beep. 13... That's so racist, Merrymaker. Samson! Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> and I thought Glani and Slavers were bad! I Nim does not know what you're talking about. Do you kiss <laughs> your mother with that now? <laughs> no, she's been very sick recently. Why, that's probably why your toxicity is killing her! <laughs> what did I Damn. say? <laughs> I can't repeat it! What do I look like, a monster? I this is a PG-13 campaign, Samson. Because he said something like, I, I am a fan of green cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so 13 like let's fuck with the idiot. 13 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Yeah. And uh Boop! It's big and it's very angry. Hello. But how's its health looking like? Is, is it I also forgot to post that first just so we're all on the same page. That ain't nothing. Do it again, I dare you. <laughs> Try to He's hit gonna me. do it again anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. And he'll do it again. Woo. 16 bludgeoning damage. That Bro was so close to critting. <laughs> oh, aren't yeah. you glad it wasn't critting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Man, Kalos... I'm almost at Nim health levels. You're almost oh, at 15, getting... you're almost at 17, because there's a difference between the two. <laughs> Kala's getting what she wanted, some tanking in. Woo! I mean, we're here to make Nim survive. I could take another two, three hits. Okay. I'm... Depending. If it crits, I might die. <laughs> but... We're gonna cross our fingers and hope it doesn't. Fingers for us, so. Is this turn done? Uh. Yeah. yeah. It's him, sir. Yay! Come in, Alright. Nim To be honest, we've done a very good amount of damage. Yeah, this round went pretty well for us all being invisible. <laughs> Okay, it's still, like, sort of wet, right? Um, it, its feet are... Sort of wet. If I <laughs> made thunder damage aimed at its legs, no. would, would that do any extra? Uh, okay. no. no, because thunder and lightning are two different things. Lightning, then, whichever one hurts. <laughs> what if... <laughs> okay. It doesn't compound damage. All right. And it wouldn't do that normally anyway. The amount of electricity you run through water is not amplified by the fact that water is a conductor. It's not amplified by the fact that water is wet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would not increase the voltage, wattage, or ampage of the electrical current. It just wouldn't scientifically work. Does it it would disperse the it. Huh? Does it decrease the resistance? Of what? The golem or the... I guess whatever would be, like, wet versus not being wet when being shot. Mm -mm. This dude is like, yes, wet is and on fire. It is a common, like, trope that wet plus electricity makes bigger, but, like, no. It, it just increases the area of effect of an electrical current passing through water. And that's where the misconception is drawn. Okay, so... 
Uh, would you guys like me to summon, like, essentially make it rain, so then there's steam because it's hot, or would you like me to hit this with things that actually do damage? Things that actually do damage. Okay. Yeah. You have controlled the area very well enough. <laughs> yeah. Please do damage. In fact, um, also, I think that your little shield thing moves with me, because it just says that they leave the pool. Uh, which the only pool it refers to is the 30-foot one. Fair, but also it's about to end in Nim's turn, so... How long does it last for? It says until the end of your next turn, and this is Nim's next turn, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I think that just means, like, it lasts. It goes with you. The water's a homie. Alright, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do Chromatic Orb. Hell yeah. But I'm gonna upcast it to level 3. <laughs> Woo! Let me see how many dice that is. So. I love kinetic orb. That's but five. Only eight. fire. Fire! 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 Fire's gonna work on something that lives in the desert. Oh, wait, no, I mean, it just worked. It's fine. I mean, I yeah, fireball fire. hit it perfectly fine. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and he's, he's taking small amounts of fire damage from Yala's thing. Oh, hey, what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Yeet the boy. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do acid or fire. I'll stick with fire, because I... Alright. We are casting you at third level, my guy. Oh, this is a... It is not a spell save. What are you talking about? It is an attack roll. Yeah. Hold on one sec. I have to... Add this because apparently it's not there. Attack Actually, that no. roll. It's just smash roll D twenty. Yeah, make it take poison damage now. Plus eight. Yeah. Look at all I'm these cues we're rolling. I'm not <laughs> rolling that. <laughs> like that. What damage what type is it? Uh, fire. This golem's on fire! Yes! Oh my god. Um, <laughs> give me a sec while I add a chromatic orb. <laughs> Can you, can't you just drag and drop it from the compendium? I thought I did. Take it. A second one. <laughs> and then another one pops up from the ground behind us. No, I... The character sheet bugged out on me is what happened. Mm. It's not in the compendium. Cool. <laughs> So just pull your forty-eight. Um, let me check what this one says. No, it's five D eight. But mm. this is the hit. So um, this uh cause it's an attack roll. Oh, I'm gonna double check that. Yeah, this one's not a, a save con save, it's an attack roll, then I'm re rolling. Roll good. On a side note, necrotic damage is just like a damage of the flesh, right? Yeah, necrotic damage is like actual just like withering and necrosis. Yeah, yeah I mean, so it wouldn't apply to things that are non-organic. Yeah, it, that's also why chromatic orb can actually do necrotic damage. So, does 19 hit... Aw, she did her first attack spell! Great! Yay! 
no, Baby's actually... first attack spell one year after the campaign <laughs> Wait, no, after, Happy wait, New Year! Wait, wait. <laughs> you cool damage, not fire damage. I have a reason for this. Mm. Yeah, if I do a cold damage spell, it reduces its speed by 10. Pardon. That's all cold damage? At Nimcast, yeah. Yes, oh, it's part of her cryomancy. Everybody yeah. throw your ice stones at us. <laughs> yeah, so cold damage, my bad, not fire. Does 19 hit? Uh, yes. Okay, I hope. <laughs> I tie the ice stone around my quarterstaff. <laughs> I'm re-rolling that one, hold on a second. Meta magic, thank you. <laughs> I just need to re-roll that one. Just don't get a one again. That's better. Yeah. Man, look at how Woo! cool wild magic sorcerers are. Especially 20. when you give them 20. multiple subclasses. How much damage? 20. For ice and your speed is reduced by 10. Yeah, so the whole thing is 20 damage. Yeah, that minus 10 speed sure will make a difference. Look, if I can keep it, doing this, eventually he'll have none. It was what? going really far. I think yeah. any amount less is good. Also, Nim, I think you should move the hell out of the way from it. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I'm debating on whether... Oh, also, hold 20 on. 20 damage, right? Yeah. yeah. We're still good. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not I should cast a uh, spell to get that protective circle on them right now. Is that the end of Nim's turn? Uh, hold on while I debate what to do with my bonus action. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I don't think you want it moving into the sand. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> I'm I mean, it's already getting boosted as if it's in the sand anyways. Yeah, but it's inconsistent. I think it could draw a lot more if it was just straight up in the sand. I am going to... Lower that one. Misty Step. Here. I'm not on the thing. I'm gonna Misty Step here. We're gonna take a step here. So hold on a sec. Bye, new. We're still good. And then I get the protective circle because I think Samson can take a hit. No, you don't. You're outside of the pool. You're not inside the, the thing. Oh, wait. No, my bad. Step here. Billy. Literally the only reason we got wet socks. <laughs> <laughs> you have on boobs. How are your socks wet? Magic. Magical water. Sucks through your boots. I also just like calling it wet socks because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Nim what socks? Makes your sock wet. I cast wet socks. <laughs> Nim, Operation Wet Socks! <laughs> Power word, wet sock. Be, Power word. It's gonna be really funny if you guys ever start naming your like party <laughs> setups as things. Like Samson just yells at as a free action, as a free action. Nam Operation Wet Socks. Okay. Like, would, Next that turn, would only just inundation. If Samson was ever the leader. At some point, y'all probably gonna have to pick a leader. I thought Samson was already the leader, so no, I don't no, know. I mean, you literally do not listen to him because you think he's an idiot. No, well, yeah, also things that are like a good idea. Say a good idea. So? And so many times the team didn't listen to Nigel Uno because they thought he was wrong. Also, we default to what you tell us like multiple times. <laughs> when you were like, hey, let's just go with whatever Zanzibar tells us, Yell was like, alright. Well yeah, but that's like because Yell is crushing like a teenager. Not at that point. That was a long time ago. And look at where we are now. She's also, she doesn't necessarily listen to the people she likes. This is 
that mean she doesn't like her people? That doesn't mean uh, Yes, exactly that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna I love test Popeye. Roll. <laughs> I'm gonna test roll chromatic orb real quick. Fantastic. Orb. Yay! Girls. So that's the end of Nim's turn, right? She's circled. Yes. Yes. Samsoni! Yeah. What are you doing? The, I don't like this game. The play Samson 5. Shoot good. Gail you still gives you advantage. Good. He's within five feet. What was that? Oh, I was just checking a thing. That was me. A lot of advantage. Anytime I see a random measurement error, I'm like, mmm. If it's what green, happened? it's always new. What happened? Samson's is also green, though. Yeah, but oh, he's yeah. a darker shade of green. Yeah, but it only flashed for a very short second. Here's what I'll do. Nim is purple now. I'm purple! Oh. Fuck you. No! 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 No!
Um, I think it adds an extra flat amount of fire damage from every source of fire it takes within the first minute. True. However, this fire effect is magical, so... Yeah. If it makes that check, the oil will burn, but the oil isn't going to stay burning. Because the source of the fire yeah. is magical. Oil comes in a clay flask that holds one pint as an action. You can splash it or throw it up to 20 feet. Make a range attack, blah, 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 covering each target in oil. If the target takes any fire damage before the oil di dries after one minute, the target takes an additional fi um, fire damage from the burning oil. Oh, it only does that once. Yeah, no, that's a fucking win. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Shoot him. here I thought things were cool. No wonder why I... no one plays the fucking subclass. Again, I, I will say it. I do like that you're trying things. It's All of you. It's all really of you have been fun. asking some really fringe questions, and I encourage <laughs> that. But, like... Whoa, fringe. Just... You get to make up rules. Yeah. Just don't ever get disappointed if a lot of that comes back as no. No, I'm not disappointed that it comes back no. I'm disappointed that by the book it, it, it fucking sucks. It comes back as lame, which is yeah, so much worse than well. coming back as no. This idea is terrible. <laughs> I'd rather have an idea be cool and get shot down than be accepted <laughs> and it turns out that it's fucking lame. It's just stupid. Yeah, the book yeah. makes it unfun. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could apparently put it on the floor, and then it burns over time. Just shoot it. Yeah, like, at some point. <laughs> uh, rifle or pistols? Bam uh, or bam? Bam. Bam or ba-bam? Bam ba bam ba bam ba bam 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 I can't tell if you two have been trying to do the same song. <laughs> Eventually, I, yes. Eventually. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah. Over the time, we started to syn synergize. Before, <laughs> it started out with us just making sounds together, and then slowly we got on the same track. And then we started singing an actual song. Noise go burn. And yeah, noise do go burr. I like doing noise. Go burr. I gotta play a bard sometime. <laughs> Bards are really fun. I gotta play a character sometime. If only somebody I knew was planning on making a campaign. Well, I am. Oh? But mm -hmm. not for you. Mm -hmm. Not for you or you, but maybe oh. for you. Jeez. Dang. I see. She's Everyone's the special one. Everyone's offended despite the fact that I said it's for one of you. <laughs> well, we all know it's for Shay, obviously. Why would I want Shay as a player again? It was pretty clearly meant that you were the one. <laughs> Given that that was the initial statement that was made. Yeah. Me? Yeah, not that it no. was you, but that it was you. Do you, 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 you. Do you, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, but I'll what gun? My bonus yeah. action for anything really important right now, so I can get back and fight with the stuff. It would be a cooking bit right now. That thing is, uh, I'm gonna take the hide action. Over here. You take the hide action? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the whole prone hide. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, one more time. He's, he's gonna do the monster hunter dive into the water. Yeah, literally just do like a running like slide like I'm a fucking action hero. Is there actually supposed to be a DC for that stealth? Uh, yeah, it's it's a hide check, so it'd be contested against their perception. Oh, okay. But like, I don't know how good of a perception they get, considering passive I'm perception. Literally... No, well, cause like I'm cold and I'm silent, so. How does one roll perception? 
Oh, for the monster? Yes. It would be... If it has any bonuses to perception, it would be... You would click that. If not, then it's just a flat wisdom. Oh, so it's just a flat wisdom. Yes. Because it has a passive perception. Yeah. Also, that stealth is at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> It's too preoccupied with not you. With attempting to beat up Yell. Yeah. Crush I'm on fire. Stop it. Hello, sir. So what? Well, Samson takes the hide action. Does that end your turn? No, that's my bonus action, dog. Oh right. I, when people just say action, that I think it's an action action. Just lights. Camera. Just for my own conception, just like if it's a bonus action, call it a bonus action. Okay. And well, then it clues it me hide in. Bonus action. Yeah, the <laughs> bonus hide action. Bonus hide action. action. Bonus Ooh. action. Action. Hide bonus Dang. action and. Oh, uh, so that's another twenty damage. Dang, what's with you rolling straight twenties? Mm -hmm. Well, because basically, because sneak attack. Uh, it ignores the resistance, so it's practically <laughs> a straight roll. Does it? I thought the sneak. I thought we agreed the sneak was counted no, as. I said, practically. That's not what it actually does, but yeah. it gives him enough extra damage. It to basically doubles my that. damage. Well, like multiple times, you've just done twenty damage, which is why I was impressed. <laughs> it's always different numbers, but they keep adding up to forty, which divides to twenty. Or forty-one. Yeah, Body, which I'm also divides back. to 20. Because math! <laughs> Blackjack. 2 plus 2 equals 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. Is that the end of Samson's turn? That's the end of Samson's turn. It's Shadow Tom! I just realized there was no way in hell that thing could have seen me anyway. Why? Because uh, the highest it could roll is a 20, and everything <laughs> was a 21. <laughs> oh, wait, you got advantage on it? Uh, yes, I get advantage on any stealth roll if I move uh, less than half of my, my uh, thing. Uh... Technically, 15 is less than half of 35. It's funny half number. <laughs> I just don't get anything. Uh... No more health than me. Can I, can I bap him? You can bap him. Oh wait. Uh, I'm gonna engage uh, Slayer's Prey first. I hate you! Me? No! I'm yeah. saying Kiala okay. hates him. I <laughs> very much do not hate you. Yeah, I hate you. You bitch. Definitely don't hate you. I hate you. I hate you! I hate you! Nope, I definitely do not hate her. So should I just... Should I just keep whacking him? <laughs> yeah, just keep double bonking. Bonk, bonk, cool. bonk, 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 Shallow's, fi Shallow's finding her inner child. A.K. Proto-Kuno. Whack a golem. Freaking double 19s. Uh-huh. Just crit for him. See, if I was shooting it, it would crit on a 19, but the quarterstaff version doesn't crit on the 19. That's 24 in total, right? Yep. Wait, why do you crit on a 19? Because that's the bow. Oh, that's gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> no, if this, this, <laughs> there's a reason that in my character sheet it is listed as the Zanzibarian holy fuck bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Only for one of its damage types. If I fire spears, I just it's just the spear firing great bow. But if I shoot arrows out of it, then Zanzibarian holy fuck bow. <laughs> so that was twenty four, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Anything else for Kelly turn? Uh, I don't really have any reason to move, right? Unless you don't want to get hit. I do want to get hit. Um. 
Um, and even if you did move, that prompt an attack of opportunity. Oh wait, hold on, I get a little bit of extra damage because Slayer's thingy. Yeah, because you got mad at it and then decided not to roll that. Whoops, there you go. Plus four? Okay. Yeah. How is this thing looking? All by Sam. Yeah, can I can I perceive how it's doing? You can perceive how it's doing. Good enough. Vibe check. Vibe check. It is missing quite a bit of sand from its body. <laughs> like it's gonna die soon. Or? Well, you are not an expert in golem health, but it's certainly looking a lot less buff than when you started fighting it. So, mm. now, now it has, now it's missing 169 health. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. And remember, on the, on the start of his next turn, he has to do the save again. Which is now, because I think y'all is done. Y'all is done? You haven't gotten Does hit tell everybody that, that it's looking weak? Since I hit it with the fire? No. Okay. Or wait, did I? Oh, yeah. You'd have to make con saves for that. Con saves for what? Oh. Concentration on the fire. Because she got hit. Oh, so roll the concentration on the fire and see if it stays. It's con save? Yeah. yeah. I think you have to beat a 10. That's a 10. It is a 10. So now it's his turn. Or its turn. Do not assume his gender. <laughs> I just said his. <laughs> that, you know, I, I caught that immediately. Hyalis, wait, no, Hyalis gonna um call out to Zanzibar. What pronouns does this guy use? Hey, Golem, it's what a are your pronouns? Golem! And? <laughs> it's an it! Okay. It's a it, it's it is. What's the plural of it? It's. Thank you. You're welcome. It, it's itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit you if you keep being so dumb. Samson didn't do anything. He fails the, the constitution, right? Uh. Yeah. No. <laughs> the, 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 Wait, no, he the, has advantage. Right. Yeah, that's why I said no. 23, okay. so he doesn't take the extra damage and the effect ends. Yeah, oh, okay, bye bye. Which means I can cast it again. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I want to stop doing damage to it, because we want Nim to kill it. Or not kill, but subdue. I'm, I intend to hit it with Chromatic Orb again mm. and be like, hey, you stop being mean. Well, we gotta. It's like Pokemon. You have to knock it down to, like, before it dies. <laughs> and then throw your Pokeball at it. And then throw your bone at, at it. Yeah, throw your butt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a greater chance I would have missed the bun shot than if I did anything else. <laughs> I had to flip a coin. I didn't know whether I wanted to take the average or risk the die. Man, it's, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm actually no. I'm not glad it's non-magical sand that heals it because if it was magical, I would have aimed for that when Zanzibar puts it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold your action until Zanzibar tries to I would have done him. it. <laughs> it's not magical sand, so I can't just stop but it's non-magical. Regular I mean, you can still shoot it. It just wouldn't do anything. Oh boy! I, I might if I'm going to be shooting sand, I might as well be shooting that sand. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot some of the health we gain away. I, I mean, that'd be sick if I that would be sick if I lowered it by like a d6. If you can snipe a wasp, you should be able to snipe a grain of sand. Yeah. And then Zanzibar gets annoyed and is like, If you're going to stop my fun, <laughs> just heals the gold. Again. You literally wanted us to learn how to fight better, and I targeted something that's stopping us from beating it. I think we're fine. Listen here, you're smart. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> we almost called him smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Zanzibar Want to test how well you can fight? No, you notice something that makes the fight harder, you get rid of it. 
<laughs> How dare you? How, How dare, dare you? you? <laughs> this idiot. This absolute buffoon. This himbo extraordinaire. This is the closest thing anyone has done to outsmarting Zanzibar. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's gonna look at Hyala, go for that multi attack again, and twenty hits, right? Yes. Do you want twenty to not hit? Wait, hold on. Are you even within range? Oh, no, give not. me that it's... strength saving throw. Oh yeah. Ah, I literally imagine that he's just doing like a full-on soccer ball. Wee. Uh, would you like some help with that? What do you have to meet to not get hit? Really 15. high. 15. Ah, good. So the fifteen would have been okay if you want. I thought you. I thought you could give advantage on things. I. I can only give advantage to myself. Yeah. Ooh. She can give herself advantage. She can't just do that for everybody. She can add things to your rolls, which is powerful, but she can't just That is true. Choose. Yeah, usually it's just me adding stuff. So Hyala gets kicked over there. You then... good? Of course. It runs up. <laughs> it literally runs up to Hyala and Dune slams, so oh that's an advantage and I don't think that hits. Imagine running up and trying to hit a prone target and missing. <laughs> I imagine it's that thing where like it tries to grab the thing on the floor but accidentally kicks it away. And it what nudges Hyala away from its big booty slam? <laughs> Yellow just rolls out of the way of it. 13 doesn't hit, right? Correct. Dang. That was lucky. I'm not him. <laughs> that was lucky. I'd have been fine. <laughs> You're dying, aren't you? I'd have been fine. You would have been fine? That would have been 20! Would you have yeah. been fine? I'd have been fine. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Touch my tail, Golem. She says she'd be fine because then she wouldn't have to think about getting rid of Yala. The golden <laughs> for her. No, she would literally still have HP. How much though? Ten. <laughs> That's anyway, fine. I have Nim's potions. Nim's turn. Nim's turn. Nim's turn. Okay. Second verse is same as the first. I'm a chromatic orb. This hoe with holding. It was just lying on the ground. Just gonna wave at Samson. With a broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> Waving her arm, I'm... just flopping her out. Hi, Samson. Oh, now she can't be good. She's acting happy. This time, I'm gonna <laughs> cast it to a four. So instead of Stella uh... waves at Samson. Oh no, she's got brain damage. This is oh, gonna be six. Jokes on you. I already had brain damage. Okay, you continue. Got the, you got the other part of brain damage. Ah. Uh -huh. I've cast it to a four. I'm just seeing yeah. the baseball guy whose arm broke on the pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that arm was rattling. Holy crap. I have cast it. <laughs> 32 oh, damage? Uh, that, does that hit? Hold on. Wait. Oh. oh. That oh, no. doesn't hit. Wait. No! no. Can you add the plus four? I yeah. can give yourself. Can you? Add? I don't. That I think that you've only ever used that plus four to add to like. No, you've I can never do it for attack rolls. Can you? I don't remember yeah. you ever using like... it for an attack roll, so I don't know. We hardly because ever miss. Little because Nim that. hasn't done any attack rolls. Yeah, yeah. there's that too. until now. With attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws, literally Probably. anything. Please hit. I mean, if, I think it's. I think it has seventeen. It does. Well, well roll your yeah. thing. That brings it to an eighteen. Eighteen. That hits. Woo! Oh, what type of one? 
What what type of damage are you? It's cold. Actually, no, I don't feel like re-rolling that one. I don't oh, want to roll another nice. one. Uh, it's cold damage, and its uh, speed decreases by another ten. <laughs> um. All right. So what do I do with my bonus action? Hold on. Yeah. How do you want this to play out? <laughs> Pokeball, <laughs> go! Of all people to make that joke! <laughs> oh, that's phenomenal. Oh, I really Jane. liked the anime as a kid. That's because it's funny. Oh, man, Jade. Mm -hmm. oh. I stopped watching the anime because of my cousin, and then I started hating the franchise because of an ex friend. But I can still make references if I need to make references. It's, it's okay, Digimon was always better. <laughs> Digimon is an isekai that I actually like. The <laughs> only Digimon I've seen was the movie. Wow. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> run around! I run around! Oh, true for Jay. <laughs> so anyway, how do you want this to play out? <laughs> baseball pitch this orb while shouting, stop being mean already! You feel alone! And you and just chuck this upcasted orb at the golem? Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh? Any added flair? Yeah, Nim says stop being mean. Nim's not very cool, okay? Uh, I wanna add you, you need to chill to out. Him, I will take some. So I'm imagining that Nin's flail, like, flail wrist fucking baseball paws, like, just misses the golem and hits it right at its feet. But because it's wet and is in the water now, all the ice just... And just climbs up it and does what happened with, uh, to Samson. <laughs> to the golem. See, I was thinking, if I was gonna do it, that she'd pitch it. But she'd pitch it so well, it actually knocks the core out of its body and into the water. It replaces the core. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I am the golem now. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just runs off with its body somewhere else. <laughs> Wee! The, the chromatic core! The chromatic core! <laughs> so, what do we want? I'm, I'm imagining it like freezes the body. It just leaves the core in place with a bunch of frozen wet sand. I like the frozen wet sand, it's really funny. <laughs> Fair enough, you frost over the golem. And it just can't keep the sand up. So it just. If you can't keep your sand up, they have pills for that. <laughs> it just. Uh, <laughs> both of you, both of you drove different ways to get to the same joke. <laughs> hey, he said keep it up. So. Yeah. And that's the first thing you think of. Yeah. Well, he said the words he can't keep it up, and that's what me. Fair. It's also not. <laughs> anyway, continue, Lordo. Yeah, no, so it just can't hold it up. <laughs> can't stay stable! <laughs> and the oh, core really? just falls out of the body into a pile of frosty wet sand. Good job! Can <laughs> you get up, please? <laughs> Is battle officially over? Can Hyala get up? Hyala can get up. Also, I no longer have control over the uh, pink square, so you're gonna have to get rid of it. I'm gonna place it. Uh... <laughs> uh... Right. Also, we're no fine. Baby. 
was a good start. Start to what? I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing something? We were busy? I thought this was just for shits and giggles. Yeah, where's the oh. real battle? I say like I didn't use most of my Above, above board! <laughs> How was that challenge? That was fun. It was fun. Scale of 1 you to 10. You my remaining spell slots, my oh. guy. Scale of 1 to 10. How, how challenging combat? I'd say good. Somewhere but between 7 and 8. 7 and 8? What? Between, between 7 and 8. Yeah, I, I knew it was 8 7. something. 7.5. But it sounded like 7 and 18, and I'm like, if that's... <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it either completely broke no, no, the no, scale, no. or it was above average. <laughs> but only one of those. <laughs> Makes sense. The CR is penciled in as 10. You're all level 9, so... Yeah. Uh, cause like, this thing... A, gave it a lot of our damage. Yeah. And B, was able to heal. So, that was also a lot of negation. Plus, mm -hmm. it was pretty tanky, it was really fast, and it was able to do a lot of damage. It can also hit more than once. And it, well, yeah, that just comes with, like, monsters of this challenge. So I just put that in the lot, does lots of damage category. So, anyway. if, if there was more things to worry about than this thing, we might have been pretty fucked. <laughs> Also, how late are we going? Because I just looked um, at the time. <laughs> I think it'd be time to call it here-ish, if you had something to wrap it up, because I do have to leave it in there. Yeah, Oof. and Zanzibar was just gonna, you know, do a spiel and have Nim try and pose her will on the golem. How does that work? Uh, mainly just Arcana checks and Forcefully making it respect you. Ah, uh, yes, because them commands no respect naturally. Be my friend, you idiot! <laughs> I'm going to pet you and love you and hold you and hug you. God <laughs> damn it! And we love you! As it's just trying to like crawl away! Bad! <laughs> Bad Golem! Uh. It's, the, it, it's the caster's oil for you! <laughs> She just sprays it with more cold water. <laughs> anyway. Seems like it was a good session. Woo! You want to do those arcana checks now so you don't have to worry about it? Uh, no. Okay. Suffer that was gonna thing. twirl our great staff around and be like, this was cool. What a good I... present from a person that you don't know why they gave it to you. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye, everybody! Bye! Woo! Ooh.